Three, two, one, go! Welcome to playoff match nine. As usual, the first 50 seconds are totally pre-programmed by their students. 49-26, but getting a head start, leaving their community to gain points for their team. The Blue Lions matching them just as strongly. 10-18, getting the balance on their charge station. 135, just leaving their community and lots of points already joined up by these alliances. The seven alliance seed is with a strong scar with 36 points, but there's plenty of time left in the match for them to change that. The Penn Black Knights already placing one cone into the high part of the grid. That's five points for every successful game please placed up there. 1018 taking the opportunity to place a cube down in a lower grid, instead moving it to a different part of the grid that could possibly score more points. Galactech 4926 on the audience side of the field making use of their loading station where they can interact with the human player to bring game pieces on and out of the field, or sorry, just onto the field. 1018 hanging out in the center field, looking to maybe cause some ruckus, but instead picking up an additional cube. They'll want to take that over to their grid to score additional points, choosing and electing to go over the charge station, although that was a shorter period in time that can cause additional damage to their robot, which they might need to repair later. 1747 making use of their loading station as well. An additional communication from their human player to properly orient their robot for picking up that device out of their loading station. Some bumper and bumper action in the inside of the field. As long as that's maintained a minimum, they will not get any penalty points. 4926 lifting up part of the field, but it looks like it's still good. A minute remaining in this match. 1747, that's Harrison Boiler Robotics making their way across the field through the mosh pit of robots, teaming up with 1018 to make their way over to their landing station, grabbing onto part of the field and quickly releasing it. 135, that's the Penn Black Knights. They've got two teams from their high school, each competing in different parts of the bracket. Remember, we are in the lower bracket. The team that loses this match will be eliminated. We're just a few seconds now from the start of endgame. 49-82 already preparing for that end game that we just entered. 1741, that's red alert, making final touches on their grid. They'll make their way towards the charge station to score final points for their alliance. 17 seconds remaining in the match. Just contact alone with that charge station can't get them six points per robot, but going the extra mile and making sure it's level will get 10 points per robot. The Red Alliance, they get a good effort. The Blue Alliance trying to match them, counting them down. That is the end of your playoff match. Here are your scores for playoff match nine. Staying in the competition so far, your winners are the Red Alliance. The Red Alliance will continue to play in the lower bracket in Bratch 12. We want to thank Alliance 7 for coming out and participating today. That's 1741 Red Alert, 1018. That's Pike Rover Devils and 1747 Harrison Boiler Robotics. Thank you for competing like crazy.